Hey, I'm Kev Kem. Welcome back to Tennis World Tour 2 for probably the final time. As last time out, we completed our career or well, our first season as myself, Mr. Botox. And as you can see, we got into the third season by skipping the second. And see, quite a few real life players have retired. You can see Rafa dropping down a tenth now. The ages, and as you can see, we're just in the top 30. We I saw we were outside the top third. I guess another couple of players have retired. But as you can see, that was our results. So it's last time we won the Manila Masters before taking our year off. So I might continue this kind of off, off recording. I don't know. I probably should have stripped it down like the settings. But yeah, as we try and win everything, basically. Which might be more likely now that, you know, more real life players have retired. So it might be a bit easier. Or they have gotten a bit worse. As for this final final video, I was going to try and do like online. But as you can probably guess by now, there's like no one online. Everyone, Everyone's giving up the ghost. So instead we're going to be doing something we haven't done, which is doubles. Which should be great fun. As you can see, got it all set up as well. So we're going to be... Nadal v Kvitica against Federer and Barty. As uh, Petra Kvitica, one of my favourite female players. So we'll play as her. And um, we'll see if being a female actually plays any differently. Uh, so we're in it for all the players as well. So as you can see, we've got like Curtin and then Piscova, which are Dale C. You know, you've got to get a DLC in for everyone has left their game, you know. So they've actually bothered to fix the game. But as you can see, you already had quite a few players already. Uh, it's got random... Oh, we can be ourselves. Oh, should we be ourselves? Actually, no, no, we're 50. <laughs> we're ranked 59. What about the those ranked of the real-life players? Got 81, I can see. But yeah, everyone's ranked 81. To 87. And it's like Fedra's the highest ranked player. That's a bit silly. We're we'll having ranking so close. No wonder we're like. Got shit on all the time. If we're over 20 things behind. And. You know that's not going to improve any time soon. So. Again another reason why. We've given up on career. It's just going to take us way. Way too long to catch up to. Real life players, even if you know they might slow down as the careers goes on, or you know they, they said their scores diminish, so we might be able to close the gap that way quicker than us actually gaining on them. So yeah, it'll take a very long time to catch up and improve our player. But yeah, let's be. Was it Kavirka? They said he. Got quite a few female players, but they've had a couple more with the DLC. We've got Barty. Then we've got Mugarufa. Vitaska. We've got Belenchik. Silver Liner. I'm very good at pronouncing things again. <laughs> uh, so we've got Madison Keys, you can definitely say that. Kiki Bartens. Bianca. Andres Chufa, the US Open champ from a year back. Caroline Garcia. And then from the last game as well, Christina Menegnovic. And then you've got Corey Graf. So actually, it barely strikes double figures, actually, before he had these in. So <laughs> maybe not. But yeah, for the men, you've got like between 20 and 30. Like, that's pretty good, including two legends. You've got Scarvo Curtin. Multiple French Open champ and Marat Safin, the big serving. Was it US Open? I think Aussie champ as well. Aussie Open champ. Around the turn of the millennium. Two legends they are. But yeah, let's be Kvitska. Lock that in. Lock in Rafa. Lock in Federer. And lock in Ash Barty. So we're going to have left handers v right handers here. And we. Are going to be going all around the world. So you can see you've got French Open. Of course the only officially licensed Grand Slam in the game. So you've got three. 
three courts from there. We've got London Supreme, which isn't actually real. We've got the Oak Arena, which I believe is Hannah. So that is real. And you've got Berlin Bar. You can actually tell from the net as well. It says Tennis World Tour on the ones that are not, not official as well. I did a good job of the arenas. Like they are lots all over the world. Like they've done a pretty decent job. And I believe this is official as well. This is Madrid Open, I think that is. I'm surprised they're not blue, K, okay, to be honest. But, yeah, we're going to be playing at the French Open. Let's play on Cisan Zengen. But again, I apologise for my pronunciation. Let's play the other day. We're going to do one set, six games per set. For final set tie breaks, so that would be the set. We're going to just play it on hard. Turn it down far, you know, expert like we've been playing for most of the career. And it's kind of like right in the middle as well, difficulty wise, I believe. Yeah, just in the upper echelon. So like four out of six. And yeah, we're going to be on this side. And of course, we're going to disable skill cards. Don't want to use that cheap tricks to get bucks. That's all that, that's all in that's all it's in for. It's not actually going to help you, really. It's just it's just there to try and get some money. We're not a big fan of microtransactions anyway. So let's get going. And there's our intro. Don't need to put that in, do you? So here we go. Here we can see the comparison in. So Rafa and Kavid are actually a bit worse than Barty and Federer as we're very even in power. They've got, we've got better endurance though. They've got better precision and we've got slightly better agility. You know, it's worse for both sides of the court. So begin off then is Fedra serving and as you can see we've actually got a stamina bars underneath so I think I've not changed all the settings I had that off oh we get to play a shot all oh, too soon yeah I get my shot timings as well so you get to see if I'm too soon or too late oh my god Fedra's freaking off court oh my god these rallies going to last like 10 years aren't they To try and drop it in. There we go. Find the end of it. Let's get a bit of a highlight out here. Uh, as we tried to force the issue on Barty, but Barty was like, "I've had enough of your shit." All right. There you go. So, can zero. That's Kaviska grunting and hey, good shot from Rafa down the line. Fedra left, left stand in that. That's Rafa just nails it. So remember, Kanza, both sides. Oh yeah, they didn't. She didn't say that on the first, first point. What the hell? There's Trent Kanz. Trent Kanz. Yeah, good, good volley from Rafa. We're actually going to see volleys. I'm very excited about this. He's done it again on Fedra. What are you doing, Fedra? He's not used to doubles, is he? It's been, what, over 15 years for him? Probably. There's all Barty clapping the line there. So now you're seeing that volley is actually really good. In doubles, just dreadful in singles. Again, very good with real life players. There's. Uh, oh, Rafa, too easy. Egalité. I think that just means the level, doesn't it? Good hit in. Of course, she slid in automatically. That terrified me. Don't know where Rafa is. Oh, we're going back to the base lines, apparently. See, that actually makes sense sliding in like that. That's in. Oh, God, this could last all day. This is this rally. Oh, it's not out. Oh, yeah, I forget. Real life players don't actually make errors as well. Just trying to set up Fedra up. 
So we'll have to go back to Barty. Oh god, the pick on me. I get the feeling I'll set it too too long with six games per set. Because no, they don't miss at all. It's ridiculous. Can I have it back to Barty? Because the NC Federal very close to the net. Oh my god. I'm just glad it ended. God, I thought it would just be quick half hour set, maybe. It's going to last three hours. Try the little bit. All right, Rafa, stop hogging it. There you go, Federer wins as Barty ran out of energy after just one game. Here we go, we're serving against Federer. High power apparently that was. Not sure about that. Has he got a player to pick on it? It's like his Barty. Oh, great body from Rafa. At home on the clay, isn't he? King's Court, this is. It's a good serve. Barty got a bit of energy back. All right, guys. What is this? Freaking practice session? Nice. See, we've got to bring Barty in, and then Rafa's got to kind of clear the line between her and Fedra. Well, that body. So we've got to remember that. Yeah, for Rafa, I don't remember the last time Rafa played doubles. Maybe in, like, Davis Cup. Otherwise, well, I can't remember. Uh, so what are you doing, Rafa? Just standing in the middle of the court. Doing nothing. What the hell? No, we've got, like, the most energy of everyone. I know it's only Barty that's struggling. Everyone's Let got... Kind of energy. Nice. See, so Rafa, maybe not known as a voyo, but pretty damn good, isn't he? That's oh, maybe not. <laughs> the baseline winner there from Barty. As he gets the juice. I feel like every game's going to go this way. It's going to go to juice, isn't it? Oh, what? See, I played like we're going to stand on the baseline, but it slid me in. So it was too late to hit. That is one of the huge issues with this game. Again, it says I'm too late. When I wouldn't be. Oh, I tried to get Fred on the back foot there. Oh, what? Je... What was that? That was very weird. <laughs> okay, as Barty serving to Rafa. Good body. We, we get backwards. Fuck it out. Look at the power she got on that. Try and bring her in. Damn it. Try to go down the middle. I think Rafa could do that. I say it might last half an hour. Might be less if we're not going to win a game. It's Rafa once again just standing in the middle. Not covering the baseline. Not the baseline. The... Oh, 
Go and drop shot it. Yeah, that's it. Should have had that though. See, this is much better than we can ever do with our player, like, ever wish to do. That wasn't the best shot. As you can see, they've slowly moved in. So we're stuck on the base side and they've moved in. What? Oh, God. Again, once again, I've pressed it and then they've slid her in. So he's made it too late, the shot, rather than what I think is perfect timing. So, again, it makes sense sliding in on the clay. It's just so poorly implemented. And as I said, it's automatic. You have no control over it. As uh, so we're losing just because of me, basically. As... Trotzewa. No, trust you. Zero quinze. Zero nine, isn't it? Merci. Merci. Don't know where to go for Nadal. So he's gone a bit wider for the old serve. Oh, we're not allowed to hit that one. There we go. We've done it. We've done a body. Don't worry, we'll fight back, all right? We've got this. <laughs> Fucking hell, Fedra, all right? Calm down. Oh, my God. You can try to take our heads off, though. from Barty. As they have two break points. We might have to play two games there, or two matches. This is too short. So we are getting annihilated. I have to play as my guy, see how he goes against... I mean, not Fedro and Barty, but... With Dale and Kovitka as party oh, too good at this. Oh, we see what. Oh, we could see what he's like as an AI. So we stay as Kovitka, but have ourselves alongside her. See what that's like. Getting all the crowd reactions here. Oh, Rafa! Finding the line. We might. Come on, let's win a game at least. It's not me too bit. Oh, what? Oh, right, we hit this one. <laughs> Maybe not. We're not allowed to hit it. Actually not. I pressed the button. It was just like, you're not hitting the ball, mate. Uh, so once again, Nadal just standing Zero, in the ball. S'il vous plaît. Merci. Go on foot. Thought we had Fedra struggling that. No? 
Oh, he was. Had a bit of six and sevens there. Quite nicely done. Oh, okay. See, that's the, not a big issue. Again, the auto movement. Like, we're moved back. I'm moving to the right, but it's just moved me back instead. I don't know what they do with that two piece of code. Just erase it. Like, we don't need either of them, all right? If you want to have the side in kind of animation, just make a natural part of the movement. Don't make it kind of automatic that they move it for us. There's, yeah, too much points here. After, what, 12 minutes? There you go. <laughs> Great way to end the match. So they had an ace. She had two double faults to end the match. Six minutes to one. Four hundred to zero. Five break points to zero. Three net points. Fastest serve. They had it together. Great game. So I said it'd be 30 minutes to still 13 in the end. But yeah, as I said, let's see what our guy is like. Is this, this Federer bloke not very good, is he? Let's put ourselves in there. Alongside Barty. Oi. That's a lock in, mate. Yeah, lock in Barty. And then... Do we keep Rafa? Because I want to see what Curtin's like, actually. Because I've played a staffing, but I haven't seen what Curtin's like. So, should we put Curtin? And then... Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I thought... Actually, her uh, face does seem big compared to the rest. What the hell? What's with that? What What have you done done to her face? And Nishikori, they look at him. Looks like he's eating some bad mushrooms. What the hell? All right, so... Who said it was good? So... Oh, they've actually changed the ratings for some already. What is this? Like, we've got an 80 now. She's at 80 as well, Corey Graf. When they were 81. Yeah, Fred is just 86. Is that because of our pairing with Curtin? Is that what's happening? As, yeah, who should we be? As, oh yeah, we could be Move Groofer actually. That might be good. I think that's. My best what's. I'm going to see it like, no. Yeah, some of these models look unfortunate, shall we say. Let's go back. As, yeah, let's be Mugarufa. Yeah, I'll just check. I have set up right, yeah. Okay. So hopefully we'll win. Uh, so let's play on, yeah, Fiat Chateau. Should we? Has he got Simon Matthew as well? And let's do oh, hot and dry, humid as well. Climate indoors. Let's do indoors then. Let's play at night. And again, same settings. Uh, so here you go. So, tell the tape. We're much better on power, endurance, agility, and position. I think I'm letting the side down alongside Barty, but let's see. All right, so we're... Let's see Mugarufa. Looks like we're dressed in our Wimbledon setups. Let's, let's see what I'm like then. I've hit the ball out already. I'm terrible. <laughs> Zero chance. Get out of here. I'm just going to hit it against me, because I'm, of course, the weakest link. I said no input. I pressed X. Guys up. Again, with the auto slide. I pressed the button, but apparently I pressed it too late for it to register. Because I'm pressing when I think, oh, I'm not sliding. So... Let's 
Let's go in. Let's be a net magnet. Oh, no. Hard goes. Barty got by us. He's all going to be on Barty. I'm going to be let inside that, aren't I? No, I'm already knackered as well. Compared to everyone else. We have a power play for Muguruza. So I've got to remember, ball speed speed should be a bit slower. Uh, let's hit out. Contact. Oh, we're not playing the Wilmington gets. Why is it white then? What the hell? That is so weird. It's white, but it's not. We've got scenes. Don't get that. Let's hit it out again. Hey, we've got a break point. Oh, is it just white from the back? Yeah, because you can see the colours there on our skirt. Or kind of the... We just got part. Sorry, Barty. We're, we're picking on myself. There he goes. That's why. <laughs> Keys to the match. Don't hit to Barty. That is it. As we do the safe serve. Zero. I'm going to love the match stats after this. Because <laughs> Unforzeros are going to be like insane as well. We had max power there. Fuck. As I've hit out again. <laughs> oh my god, they really do make your players really terrible, don't they? Like they need to maybe up the level of your player. Or as I said, auto hire a coach at beginning and agent, so you'd have to be waiting a few seasons for them over here. Or just make it easier to progress. Because the grind might work if the game wasn't so bad. So. But it's not working. As I've got with that Barty at the ball. Oh, we've done it again. Let's see what... Oh, do I have a volley? Oh. Oh. Oh, I've hit it. I've hit it in. Get a highlight out. We've hit it in. That not. Nice kind of smash. I'm honestly shot that was in. You can see how much we miss hit the ball as well. So I've hit it two or two late so many times. No real perfect hit so far. Let's hold the break. Two new up. A do do nil do zero. Yeah, that's what am I doing on the base side now? Should be covering that. Again, very slow on the movement there. Like, I'm moving. I want to move there. I pressed and then moved. But it just counts the press. And then, oh, then I've got to move back. It's very, very slow in the movement. Oh, that was in for me. Freaking hell, I'm making a habit now. So it's always better to just stand back here and do no movements. Just when you see the ball and then move. Because otherwise, yeah, you're going to be screwed as Barty. Hit six and sevens. See, it helps when having a French Open there just alongside you. As well. And you're not playing, you know, Federer. Just me instead. You can see, not, not quite got a patch. Again, it says no input, but I press the button. Just as it slides me in. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that. That is just broken. Oh, good hit. Gustavo! Where's the, where's the boy in? What the hell? We've let them win a game now. He just stood there while I let the ball sail past him. Uh, shall we stand back? Oh, 
Well, was, again, it says no input, but I've pressed the button. Zero that time zero. after it bounced. S'il vous plaît. Merci. So it's just not reading inputs. It is a bit... It's just very unresponsive sometimes. So I've pressed that immediately as the ball's bounced, but it says it's too soon. Zero so it's just like... Do you want me? When do you want me to hit the button then? Like... Because sometimes you're reading it, sometimes you just flat out deny I've hit the button. So it's like... It's a bit rubbish. That's a good shot for me. Oh, if I know I smashed it. There we go. No one can lob me. I have to get as sorry they get free rate points. Getting too into it now. So yeah, just the gameplay is just very poor in this. It's so that's good. As nice as the courts are. Oh, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, volume. If your my level doesn't work. I just demonstrated the hey, even though that's maybe like a perfect hit. It just goes too far. Like net play is just horrible. Not advisable. Uh, so even though I'm next to the ball there, pressing the button. Doesn't count. That's just an auto winner, it seems like. As no, I hit the ball there, I'm pressing the button. Now it moves the player after the ball is passed. So it's very canned. It's a very scripted. It feels like like you're you're not really playing the game. Again, I'm pressing the button. I'm at the ball. Nothing happens. Like very. Whenever you've got a video game where it doesn't feel like you're in control, that is not a very good video game. And that is what it feels like most of the time playing this. It's all there, yeah, they've got their break back now. So it's 2 2. And yeah, the lack of control, the lack of progression in career. As well, like the XP that you get given. Again, we're next to the ball there. We can hit that. We can just stick our racket out. Use the pace. Or you perhaps try in real life. Just stick your racket on it and see what happens. Like, you're not able to do that in this. I mean, Curtin's not the best at this old du doubles play. He's not very good at the volume, is he? He doesn't look very confident in it. Or seems to know where the ball is half the time. Oh my god, what am I doing there? That's so horrible, this. S'il vous plaît. Garant Trant. All right. So this is where I learned all my French. And the French open. <laughs> Egalité. That's why I went over there when they say something thank you. I'm like, no. Cow on. Can you all. Alright. As again, nothing you can do on those. Avantage. Parti. And then they just take the euros and say it was actually that priced in the end, so... I don't, don't really go to France anymore, no. <laughs> Not actually true. Yeah, Barty, very frustrated by yeah, inside us. And with the gameplay being so poor, as I said, every kind of style of play is very similar. It's just Rafa Nadal Simulator. It's play a couple feet behind the baseline. Basically just concentrate on hitting the ball within. Force your air on your opponent's. Try and be aggressive on like grass or hard courts, but on clay, just hit the ball in. Seems to be the strategy. Even though I wasn't very good at it. Because I said with the gameplay, it's very limiting. Be able to do that. And yeah, you, you can do drop shots. You're barely at the net. 
Maybe that's why Vine is so bad as well. As wow, we missed that smash. Good job, me. So with the lack of progression as well, you only get minor XP for the challenges as they're trying to, some of the challenges are poorly explained. Well done, Gustavo. Like that last time he said with the button push, he just say, play the perfect shot. What perfect shot? Actually explain yourself. All you had to do was put in a line in brackets like, blue is X, blah, blah, blah. Play the perfect shot. These are the perfect shots. That's all you had to do. Couldn't even be asked to do that to explain it. Like... That's out. If I pressed the button now at the right time, it probably would have hit it before it went out as well. Because again, auto shots, always good. Now we're going to hit the party. Oh, yes, Gustavo. Nice volley. And yeah, as you can see, player movement. And it also does it's okay, I guess. <laughs> when it does, it's not not the best. That's a very very horrible, very automated. Stamina doesn't really be seen. Like you can be empty on stamina and it's like in this and still be playing well, at least for the real life players. I'm not sure if that's different for us. Oh my god, we there we go, finally forced to force myself in. You've got line dodges, ball balls and goals, umpires, but they never move. This is a bit weird, apart from in the cutscenes. I know the crowd do move, which is pretty good. Like crowd sounds, I hope sounds in general seem okay. Well, racket sounds, ball sounds, a bit off sometimes, especially with the, the slice shots. But it does seem too bad. There's Curtin again standing in the middle like Nadal did. That seems to be an issue with the gameplay again. Forcing your people, forcing at least in doubles, one of the players into the middle like it does in Korea. Like it does with that auto movement that seems to be here in doubles as well. Like instead of defending this line, it forces them over here instead. It's... Don't understand that for just space wise in doubles. There go, nice curtain. Has he held the break? And yeah, with the ra different rackets we've tried, they've tried a couple, they have no real difference for us at our level. Like, it seems totally pointless. And you get horrible clothes. Ho clothes choice is horrible. Customization is alright, not too bad, but apparently it's less than AO tennis, which. Began also make, which is you know, with the Aussie Open has the real life Grand Slam. I'm guessing in future going to pair these two up to make a tennis game rather than have them separate. Because up, well, I understand Big Ant came in basically to make this game. Looks like the last moment with how poorly it's been executed. So I'm hoping for the next AO Tennis slash this that it's much better because it makes no sense as well having the license for two Grand Slams and have them in two separate games. It's very bizarre. It's like having the license for F1 but then splitting every game up into different... Spin up into different games for every race rather than just having it in one game. Like, don't quite understand that. But it sounds okay. I say courts are okay, get some nice little animations, like cutscenes seem alright. Had the occasional issue with this running, but Jenny seems to be running okay. Nice, he did a smash. Oh, we're serving for the match, by the way. His old curtain. Bit weird with the. I said graphics okay. Bit weird with the lines for the players in clay, especially moving around. 
Like the graphics aren't very good for this. Wish that was a bit better. You can see with the lines of us moving around on the clay. Does not look good, does it? And yeah, from everything I've heard as well, I haven't played the Aero Tennis series, but it's just just less on Aero Tennis with career, with customization, with almost everything compared to Aero Tennis. So yeah, I'm hoping they can on with AO Tennis as the base and maybe make a Tennis World Tour 3 with AO Tennis as the base and merging this into that. We have basically none of this in AO Tennis apart from the French Open and the real life players. But now Tennis has a pretty good make your own player thing, just like Big Ant have with the Cricket series they make, like with Cricket 2019. Uh, so we win the match 6 2, nicely done. After 15 minutes, uh, it's the old 78 percent first against 96. One ace they've had. Well, it's three wins to two. There we go, 14 unforced errors to two. So with me in the side, we make 14 unforced errors. Six range from 1 to 2, 0 0. Plus, it's a bit better as well, as we have no pace, of course. But yeah, that is Tennis World Tour 2. So yeah, I think that. Last match demonstrates why we don't want to be really carry on with it as well in career. Like our players are never gonna match real life players. Unless it's like four or five years down the line, maybe, if we develop and just do training. Don't bother with playing actual tournaments and stuff, just do training or something like Or like play the tournament that you know you're gonna win and just get that level up points, because even with the level up points, they it just focuses too much. If I just show you this, it focuses too much on, oh yeah, edit player. Too much on like, but like precision and attack. Like nothing, like, defense is worthless upgrading. Like if I try and take a point away, can I do that? No, they're all locked in. But yeah, it's just better just going precision and attack. Defense is useless, basically. That's that mainly improves, I think like endurance rather than the backhand, forehand or serve or Body. I think we put some in agility as well. Agility might actually be as high as some of the real life players, apparently from from what we've seen in that doubles. But yeah, it took way too long. It takes way too long with this system. We need to make it kind of simpler to kind of upgrade or easier. And as I said, it's too long getting an agent and coach. Again, that probably should be auto. At the beginning, like you get to do select from a choice of coach, choice, choice of agents, and then you can upgrade them. Like when you get better, win a tournament or two, you get choice of better coach or, or agents to choose from. Like something like that instead. Be better stats as well. This is just for career, but we've got percentages instead of actual matches that I've won or lost. I don't know what twenty one percent of thirty four is. It's like six, isn't it, or something like that? Well, it's seven because we saw it before, but. Yeah, some just put the actual matches instead of percentages. Just do that instead. Like defeats, seven matches, victories, twenty-seven instead of this. And that would be eight actually, because we just lost now. And then yeah, return. I don't like it. Mer I don't like merging career stats with online stats as well. Like just keep all of this separate. So this should just be for career. And then if we want to look at online stats, if we exit career, then we can go to online and see our stats here instead. Like that'd probably be better. As oh yeah, this no. So yeah, that is Tennis World Tour 2. Graphics are not the greatest. So you saw the player models and stuff are very weird. Customization not the best. Like pictures look good. That's about it, really, I can say about this. Pictures are good. Courts look all right as well. And the choice of players is very good. I think it's like the biggest choice of players ever. Like, at least for the men's side. On the women's, it's very small still. Like barely into double figures. Even with the DLC. But for the men, yeah, it's decent choice. Also, the no real as a different play styles between all of the different real life players so again it's all just playing Rafa Nadal style basically that's all you do and yeah don't don't bother with cards 
Don't don't need this shit in this. All right. Just concentrate on making a good game before you start trying to ease this in. You know, like EA did. They made good FIFAs, then they eased this in into for, into Ultimate Team, and then and then it went downhill greatly. You know, do it that way. Make the good game first, and then be scummy. All right. I'm not giving you ideas oh, so they make ultimate team in tennis. <laughs> so don't don't be doing that shit either. And I bring in historic, pla historic players maybe. That, that could be pretty cool actually. Having like a McEnroe or Agassi. Vergens or Graf or Hingus on the women's side as well. Or Sellers, like something like that. Netrova, Everett, Gene King, Margaret Court, my god. Be this than all the great players, won't I? Boris Becker, Pete Sampras. An actual servant for you. Imagine that in this. But yeah, there is the end of try it. But yeah, as you maybe guessed from this kind of mumbling rant at the end, not the biggest fan of Tennis World Tour 2. Would not recommend it at all. I would advise just to save your money and maybe get a 360. Try and get top spin four or something like that. But. Oh, yeah, it's that. So, oh, here's the rewards. So, he's actually done most of the rewards, actually, have we? Oh, no, we haven't. But yeah, as you can see, most, quite a lot of rewards for using the skill cards. Who would have thought that? So, yeah, we, we might do a couple more of these in the future. But here we go. We've got a stats page on user profile. Online here, on the right hand side, crew on the left hand side. Do like that. And so total. Oh, it does show it actually 37 matches in career, 40 matches overall. But again, those are random matches. So I don't actually know these stats, how much of this is career and how much of this are the doubles match you just played and stuff. Like again, just separate all of it. Just make it easier for us to understand the stats and see how we've been, how good we've been in career and how much it was just like exhibition play, how much it was, if it was just online or just tournament, something like that. Oh, yeah, tennis school as well. That's okay. Advanced, I guess that was okay as well. <laughs> Challenges, as I said, just need to be explained better. Some of these. The panic get really hard as well at the end, like having to beat like the, the beat hard opponent, something like that. I think there's yeah, beat an expert opponent as well. That could be really hard if it's a real life player, but yeah, it's not for watching everyone who's watched all of these episodes of Tennis World Tour 2 have watched one or none or a minute or a second or liked or disliked. Cause that first was enjoying this and then yeah, it just got very bad. And with the recent patch as well, you can't actually use all the shots now. Like, as I said, with the top top spin shot, don't really use that anymore. It's now just slice or flat shot and drop shot as well. Those are your three shots. You can't really use a lob. Like, apart from very specific circumstances, if your opponent's at the net, but most of the time it still doesn't work. It might be able to reset the rally, but as a winner, like lobbing it over someone, doesn't really happen. From what I've seen... And yeah, top spin is just too flat now. It's like, or it's just very, it's too slow actually, I think. It's just, take gives your opponent way too much time and they just hit a winner most of the time now. So it's, it's taking it off the board, unfortunately, with the kind of style of play you have in Tennis World Tour 2. So don't, yeah, don't use the top spin shot anymore. Somehow they've made the game even worse. But I'll be back with another game to play. So, it probably won't be Tennis World Tour 2, but it's now watching, and I will see you next time.